Over the years, we've seen many catchphrase comedy shows come and go. Of course, she's uh, suit you, sir. But it was one man in his show that championed the airways for ten years, pioneering the use of catchphrases. It's that man again. During the 1940s, Thursdays became known as Itmar Day, attracting 20 million listeners. Itmar, Itmar, rah, rah, rah. The nation listened as Tommy's razor-sharp improvisations became the tonic needed for those dark days of war. He was one of the Worcester Boosters. He was one of the Gloucester Fosters. It was I who introduced Fanny Foster, the wife from Gloucester, to Willie Booster, the wife from Worcester. Although one person saw the show as a menace, as Tommy mocked his efforts for world domination. Who is this man who looks like Charlie Chaplin? What makes him think that he can win a war? Admired by the royal family, he gave a private performance on the Queen's 16th birthday. Ah, oh, thank you, Mr. Itmar. You've had it, Poppy Pooh. <laughs> Revered by Charlie Chaplin and Bob Hope, Tommy travelled to America and performed on Broadway. Then one morning, Tommy bent down, picked up a button, collapsed and died. Thousands gathered to pay their respects as Tommy was buried alongside the likes of Sigmund Freud and Bram Stoker. Although forgotten, his legacy lives on and is evident to this very day. Cut off for now. <laughs> <laughs>